All right, we're going to be uh, finding some more derivatives. And there's a fun one. This is going to be one where you've got to rewrite it before we can actually uh, take the derivative. Okay, so we're given y is equal to 4 times x to the raised to the 3 halves over x. So what we're going to want to do here is, is we're going to want to rewrite this, but I guess first I'm just going to say we want to find y prime. Okay. And that means that so let's write y is equal to and we're going to take that x that's down here in the denominator and we're going to take it up to the numerator. Alright, so we still have raised to the 3 halves and then this is going to end up becoming x raised to the negative 1. And of course I probably shouldn't put the fraction bar actually um, in here. And uh, let me just go ahead and erase that. Okay, so we have 4x to the 3 halves times x. Now, of course, it was down here in the denominator. We brought it up, and so the exponent becomes negative. If it's positive down here, bring it up and make it negative. So we, what we want to do here is add the exponents. So we're going to have 4 times x raised. Now, this is 3 halves minus 1, and so 3 halves... Uh, minus 1 is just going to be a half. Okay, so remember 3 has like 1.5, 1 1.5 1 .5 minus 1 is, is a 0.5 and 0.5 is a half. Okay, so now what we can do is go ahead and take the derivative from here. And so, we go ahead and write an equal sign out here. So we want to take this half now and take it and uh, take it out front and I'm just going to write it like this. It's just a whole lot easier for me to do that, not 5, but 4. And then we have x raised, and we're subtracting 1 from the exponent, so that becomes negative a half. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is uh, clean this up. And so we're going to end up having uh, equals, we keep writing equals here. So a half of 4 is 2, and then we have x raised to the negative half. And of course, we want to write this um, with positive exponents. Okay, we want to write our answer with positive exponents. So that means we're going to write this as a fraction. I'm going to leave the 2 up in the uh, numerator, and so this becomes x raised to the half power. Okay. So our y prime, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and write y prime in here. So y prime is equal to 2 over x raised to the half. Now, we started with the, this stuff in radical notation, and normally we will uh, end our answer with radical, I mean, uh, sorry, with exponential notations, what we started with, and we end with exponential notation, but... Uh, Sometimes you might be asked to write your answer in radical notation. So remember, this would actually be the square root of x down here in the uh, denominator. This would be the square root of x. All right.